hello everyone today I will tell you how to fix there has been a critical error on your website please check your site admin error not inbox for instruction so how to fix this error on your site and we will also discuss about how to fix the WP debug and WP debug display is enabled on your site actually this WP debug error will fix automatically when we will fix this critical error on your site so what you have to do we have to launch our file manager of our website so I am using GoDaddy no matter what platform you are using maybe it's Hostinger or uh, GoDaddy or any other platform you have to just open your file manager so I will tell you how to open the file manager from GoDaddy just go to your web hosting and then go to your cPanel or simply go to the tools from here you will see the an option to launch the file manager okay here you can see simply click on launch and you can launch the file manager from here the main thing is to launch the file manager and just go to your file manager on your platform maybe you are using hosting or any other so after opening the file manager you have to open public underscore html this folder okay public underscore html open this folder and you will find many files uh, like here license.txt wp activate and many other files we have to find the wp-config.php from here if you don't find simply click on control f and then click wp-config here you can find your file wp find the same file with this name okay you have to find the file with the same name okay with the same name wp dash config dot php when you click on this file you can see the edit option if you don't find the edit option simply right click and click on edit first you have to download this file for backup and then click on edit after clicking on edit simply edit the file by clicking on the edit button a new tab will open here you can see the coding of this file simply you have to uh, scroll down a little and you will find a uh, few lines of code like abs path here you can see abs path abs path define there so above these lines you will find a line of code that is defined wp debug this is the line of code from where we can enable and disable wp debug the default value will be false what you have to do we have to enable the wp debug to find what plugin or what file is causing an error to our website so simply turn this false value to true write t r u e true same as i have written on this file after changing the value from false to true you will you will enable the wp debug and you will see which plugin or which thing is causing an error mostly the plugins causing when you enable some plugin on your website it will cause an error uh, that is critical error on your website so when you go back to your website after saving the changes you will see which plugin or which file is causing an error I will zoom the file you can see here the exact path that is public dot uh, dash HTML WP content themes slash you can see the exact path which file is causing an error so far uh, uh, my error I have deleted some files of the themes so it shows an error that my theme is causing an error but mostly mostly the plugins causing an error on your website so when you have seen your path here simply follow the path and go to your plugin file like uh, I will show you here go to public HTML then uh, you can after changing the WP config.php file go to the WP content okay from here you have to go to the plugin folder open that open the folder of that plugin that is showing on your website which plugin is causing okay you will see the exact path on your website after enabling the wp debug option simply what you have to do you have to open the folder and then you have to rename that folder not this folder this is the main folder okay you have to open the 
folder from here I will show you uh, the demo because I don't want any uh, mistake on my website so what you have to do you have to open the exact path of your plugin or uh, what file whatever file is causing an error you will see the exact path on your screen after uh, uh, changing the value of your WP debug to from false to true okay so after changing the value you will see the exact path you have to go to that plugin file and you have to simply rename that plugin file when you will change your plugin name rename your plugin name then your plugin will deactivate and your website will be back now you have to activate your plugin again if it is causing an error again on your website then you don't have to enable that plugin you have to remove that plugin and search for the alternate plugin so if you find the error like this WP debug WP debug display how you can fix this you can fix this by changing the value WP debug true back to the false like we have changed the value from false to true just go back to your file manager and open the same file WP config.php and change the value again back to false okay change the true value again back to default value that is false and save the file after saving the file you will see all the errors will be fixed from your site and your site will be back again thanks for watching